Hey there, Atlanteans, Cody here. Just your friendly neighborhood penguin king deep down under the ocean here in Atlantis. And you might be wondering, what's Atlantic Tales? Well, Atlantic Tales is the adventures here I have in the city of Atlantis. Now, this is not about the overworld story. The overworld story will be a separate series. These videos are gonna be episodic, meaning they're gonna have one to three episode plot lines that will kind of finish up. But they're small adventures nonetheless, and I hope you guys will enjoy them. Now, I do wanna say Baby Blooper is starting his channel today. It's his first episode, guys, and he's pretty funny. So go over and check out his perspective of this video in the description and uh, go subscribe if you like what you see, guys. All right, now, Sharko, make sure you take care of the egg. He's been a little shaken lately. I don't know if he's got a cold or if he is actually cold. I don't know, man. He could be sick. So I, I want you to sit on him, but not, not, don't, not all your weight. Because, Sharko, I know I, I said something mean earlier, but you're not fat, but you, mm. You're large. Okay, I'm digging myself a hole. Just sit on him. Make sure he's warm. He's shaking. I don't want him to die. I want to see what's inside and then make him my pet. Resus, what's up, dude? I gotta go and um, go to... Uh, what is it? Today? Today? Oh, I'm teaching school. Over at the military school of mods. I'm gonna be teaching some of these youngsters and how to be warriors and stuff. We gotta sort out the issue with the harbor, Cody. Deadlock is shutting down the port unless we lower taxes. Well, we had to we had to increase taxes over at the, the royal district. We're gonna tax the rich because they have all the money in the world. And well, <laughs> they weren't paying up anyways. We need to help the people of Atlantis, the regular normal citizen, because well, they're struggling. And they've been flourishing lately, and they're always on my side. They love me. The people love me because we help the people. We give them food. You know, we're setting up shelters and stuff for some of the homeless people. Uh, we're, we're just cleaning up Atlantis. And we have the, the whole thing, the missions with uh, going to the overworld. It's going to, you know, that's, that's costing a ton of money, man. So, and we also have uh, the, the lab, which kind of sucks all the money. We probably can make some money there. Uh, if we cut, do some budget cuts, but I honestly I don't want to deal with it now. Can I just go off? Um, and do my own thing today, please just because it's all up in my grill Well, sir if we don't act the lower districts could side with deadlock and begin a riot Who is this deadlock person? He how, how he has the nerve to close the port the port he can't close the port That that's that has all the supplies in it. Ridiculous. Who would make him the harbor master? He's off the handle, and he's one of the richest people in Atlantis. Why can't he pay the taxes? Full. Ugh. All right. You know what? So people would side with him if they don't start getting their stuff and their imports for their shops. But if they find out we're lowering the taxes for them, they could riot as well. Let me talk to Deadlock. I'll go to, after today, I'll go to the harbor, let him know we're going to set up a meeting tomorrow. I'll meet him at his place. And I'll give him the old persuasion, the maverick. I got the moves. Well, I can't really win him over with my looks. No, not because I'm ugly, just because it was a joke. Guys, I'm just, you know what? I'm not going to win him over my looks. I, 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 I thought I was beautiful, but... You know what? Now you guys make me self-conscious. I'll talk to him and give him stern talking to and work out a deal privately. Don't tell any of the other royal district members. Some of the houses might rise up like deadlock. So we'll have to get an NDA from him if we do this. All right. Set up the meeting. So school is going to be fun today. There's a new kid and, um, oh, I got I to gotta call him. So let me get my phone probably somewhere around here and we'll give him a call and then we'll we'll prep him make sure he brings his item you know kind of make him well welcoming if he shows you know one of his items from his house and his family that might uh, impress the other kids so maybe he'll make some friends i don't know uh hello uh hello who is this well 
You answered the phone, you didn't say anything, I just heard breathing, so... Well, I, I didn't know who it was, I got scared. I'm sorry, well... Are you that, uh... What's the kid's name? The new kid is at school, uh... Blooper? Oh, yeah, Blooper. Okay, so you're the... Are you that kid? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, well... Wait, Blooper, that's your name? Yes! <laughs> Crapper, man, you should hear this kid's name, Blooper. What the hell of ridiculous is that? Uh, sorry, I was talking to somebody. Yeah, so you're gonna be in my class. I heard you're joining. Uh, yes, yes, I am. So this is gonna be your second class. I had somebody fill in for me as a substitute last time, right? Mm hmm, yeah. Okay, you meet all the students. You, you kind of get a grasp of how to get there, get to your class, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, now, how familiar are you with your weaponry? Because this is military school of mods. You gotta be on your toes, because we're learning a lot about military training here. Well, I'm pretty good with the weapons. Should I be concerned? <laughs> no. Okay, well, you're already one one class in. Why, why would you already know about what... You know what? I don't want to know. Okay, uh, well... Make sure you bring in some sort of like uh, ancient weapon, maybe from your heritage, uh, something laying around the, the house. So, I mean, if you're in a you know, just a normal citizen, maybe bring like a butter knife. I don't know, something that you can show the show the kids, so we can uh, really introduce you in, in a. Uh huh. Wait, can fashion. I bring my favorite gun? Um, well, it is military school of mods, and the military does use weaponry. Uh, make sure it's a pulse one. Okay. You know, okay. No, I didn't hurt a pulse. <laughs> Alright, well, bring in what you have and we'll take a look. Okay. Uh, be careful with it, as you were taught the first day, I hope. Anyways, uh, yep, we'll see you there and. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Sorry, I was. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I, think, I think this guard over here farted. <laughs> guard. Okay, yeah, I'll see you there, and uh, I'll be there lickety-split. You might be there a little bit earlier, but you know, no worries. I'll be there. Okay, bye. Bye. Kid's name is Blooper. I still can't get over that. Well, I want to impress the kids today, so I think I'm going to grab one of these. Maybe fly a gadfly around? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be taking your sub, sir. Don't worry. I'll return it. I'm the king. And kings... Never return. <laughs> He's never gonna see this thing again. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna need some fuel. Ooh, I probably want to bring a blowtorch. <gasps> Should I show off the weaponry? I'm thinking yes, an MG cell. Okay. Hey, Eldemore. I'm just just grabbing some st stuff. Um, is it me or did your base? What happened here? I I don't know. All right. Uh, I'm just grabbing this gadfly. Uh, could work with whatever you're working on. Okay. Uh, let's make our way before we're a little late. Oh, there's the bell. Class should be starting soon. So let's hurry up before uh, Principal Plankton gets mad. All right, I'm in the school. Just on time. A little bit late. I don't know. Um, miss, is uh, everybody ready to go for today's class? Kids are all just finishing their meals, sir. Thank you. Well, I I think maybe we can do a little bit of a show off. A show and tell, maybe. Here we go. Load it up. Yeah. Hello, students! Uh, uh, hi! It's me, oh. your teacher! Welcome to another lesson with the maverick the one the only king of Atlantis no look at my flying skills you want to see me shoot this no go here away. we go I'm gonna show you guys Woo! Oh there God. we go it's a spicy laser now you kids here at military school of mods are gonna be learning all about these different mods and how to use them to your military advantage. We are training you warriors to fight and help the world. Not just Atlantis, but the world. From- Ooh. What? Sorry, who are you? I, I'm a blooper. You're ruining my moment. Uh, oh. I wanna be landing this thing. I, I'm gonna talk to you. 
Nobody ruins my moment. I just did so hard. Okay, gee, we're losing control. Oh, we're good. You almost crashed into me. No, but I didn't. I, um, I know who you are. Yeah, I'm your teacher. Sit down. Now. Thank you. Okay. So, we have a new student. I guess he's a bit of a... Um, sit down, I said. Pick a seat. Stop oh. it! Stop moving around. So, we have a new student. And his name is... Blopper. Blooper. Bloop. I, I knew I, I, I forgot something. So, I forgot a syllable. Okay, Blooper it is. He is a new member, and he seems to be a bit um, unorderly. So I can see why his parents wanted to bring him here, because we will shape him up to be a good citizen and what? a. Is this real warrior. wood? Yeah, don't hit your head on it. Sit down. Why wouldn't that be real wood? I don't know. It smells funny. Yes, because it's real wood. Anyways. <laughs> um, does anybody have any money for me to get some? breakfast I don't really want steak and chips uh, you, you can have my biscuit uh, psych it's my biscuit <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know if you washed your hands or not so we have another student that's probably held back a few years a little bit larger than the rest of you but don't worry don't feel free he's talking about you no Sonny if you want to know I'm talking about you <gasps> and we're gonna be having a great lesson today the lesson of <laughs> life no, it's going to be the lesson of good and wrong. Wrong is always the answer. No, <laughs> that, that's actually wrong itself. Because the correct right. answer is always the correct answer. We'll be learning more about that in class. You have a lot to learn. Now, I will be pairing you up with one of the students. Let me choose who. You will be paired up with Melissa the Minion. Go sit next to her, and uh, you guys can get acquainted before class starts. You guys have T minus, well, half past the nickel. So five minutes. What? Five minutes. Who, who's that? Melissa the Minion, the one with the glasses. Go lay, go, go, go not lay down, sit down and talk <laughs> to her. And uh, class will begin soon. Huh. Um... The principal playing to talk to you guys? Uh, yeah. Oh, was he just? Well, he, he, he was just—he was just saying hi to all the kids and stuff. Hmm. hmm. He usually hates kids. All right. Um, today is a brand new day. It's a it great is? lesson. What? It, well, it is a new day. Why aren't you sitting down? Well, because I—I I, I don't know. I told you. You're partnered up with Melissa the Minion. Stop standing on the other kids. Go sit down. You're. Don't threaten me. Th do you know what a son? Do you do you know what a threat is? No. A threat would be telling you. What is that? It's nothing. Son, toss that over here. Okay. I don't want your smelly biscuit. <laughs> I'll take my biscuit because I'm actually kind of hungry. <laughs> All right, give me what's in your hand. Is that your weapon that you brought in for show and tell? It's it's okay. Don't it give it. Let me show you how to. <sighs> this is not <laughs> a plasma. All right. So kids, this is a Spaz 12, very powerful weapon. Don't shoot it. Mainly for zombies. I'm not gonna shoot it. It's a classroom, military classroom. Can All I right. shoot it? No, military classrooms need to be orderly. We might have cool weapons and stuff, but there's. Ching, ching, ching. Right. I'm gonna be holding on to this. I'll give it to you at the end of the day or when we show it off. I just wanted to see what type of weaponry you had. Push no push I. What are you saying? <laughs> You've been watching too many animes. All right. <laughs> That's a laugh that's gonna die. <laughs> Do you know what war does to you, kid? War kills a man. There's nothing left. You might Wait, how would you know? I've been in battles myself. But, but you said war kills you. 
And you're not dead. Your soul, kid. It kills your soul. You look at that mirror and you don't know who you're looking at back at. Your life's in ruins. Your family oh. left you. You can't even... Really... Okay, I, I'm getting off, off track. <laughs> so today's about good and wrong. It's a lesson that, uh, well, I just came up with uh, pretty much when I walked in. It's going to be a good lesson. I have um, a quick question. Uh, who are you, miss? Oh, you. I think she's the Atlantean. Oh, <gasps> wow. Hi! Tis the season to be an Atlantean. Well, she's got a festival hat. Um, anyways. Uh, Sorry, changer. We have an Atlantean of the day, which is her. And if you want to be the Atlantean of the day, all you have to do is leave a comment on this YouTube video. And uh, you'll be picked randomly. But use your, use your Minecraft username in the comment. Uh, did you get all that, Blue Bear? Yeah. No, wait, what? Okay. Uh, never mind. To, good and wrong. Uh, I have a question for a few of you. What is your... Hmm. What 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 is right for you as a Minecraft person? What what is good good for you? Or what is right in your life? Uh, I'll give you a couple minutes. I'm gonna go over the, the attendance. The Atlantean. Walk, walk. Uh, sans. 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 Okay. Uh, we got Joy. Is there a Selena in the house? Mermaid Selene. Mm, she's not here. <gasps> Wait, I didn't notice she was gone. She's my best friend. She's your best friend. She's my best friend. Right. Well, you might want right. to find a better best friend. You want to be my friend? Uh, son, <laughs> no. I, well, I didn't want to be your best friend anyways. I'm your teacher. I'm not your friend. I'm your teacher. So, um, have you guys thought about it? I'm gonna start going around, uh, Mr. Roblox. What what is right and what what is right and wrong about you in your life? Roblox is the only, is the newest and most up and coming game in the world. Okay, let's calm down. <laughs> Roblox is fun. Don't Roblox know. Roblox is it's boring. It's, it's actually one of my favorite games, actually. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Joy, I, I, I don't think that really answers the question. Uh, Joy, what, what what's up with you? Being happy is the right thing to do for me, Joy. I guess that makes sense. Uh, hmm. Melissa the Minion. Have you taken a shower in the past week? I think she's talking to you, buddy. Uh, but, you, I, no, she was, she was looking at you when she said it. Cleanliness is a friendliness. <laughs> we have to learn about that, and Baby Blooper will soon feel the wrath of Principal Plankton if he mean? does not take showers. I take a shower. Stop every... moving in your chair. Relax. I take a shower every year. I'm fine. Every. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Misty, what about you? Following this boy who broke my bike until he pays me is the only right thing to do. Yeah. That's weird. Definitely. Kylo. He probably has a crush on him. Avenging my father is the only right thing to do. I, that's a pretty good motive, you know. Some people go into the military to, you know, uh, honor a loved one, follow their footsteps. You killed your father. I, what? I don't think you know me. Blooper, what would be the uh, the right thing for you to do? Um, stealing from people. Okay. Oh, looks like you're gonna you're on track to get an F today. So we have some questions here. Underlying... F for fantastic. What? F for fantastic. What I what about F? Oh no no not fa fantabulous ba fantabulously bad. That's what F stands for. Hey, at least I'm good at it. No counter argument for that. <laughs> All right. So right and wrong lesson. I have a question. This one's for you, Chica. A man steals an old elderly lady's purse. She falls. And I'm going to spice up the question a little bit. There's a truck coming, barreling towards where the old lady fell down. What do you do? 
you run after him and jump scare him till his heart stops. Uh, so you leave the old lady to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was the right one. Uh, Blooper, let's hear from you. Well, first, what I would do is um, run after the guy with the purse, take the purse from him, and run the other direction. Was that good? No, that was that was awful. <laughs> it was worse than what she said. <laughs> Ended up saying something. <laughs> Work on that. All right. All right. Next question. What do I got here? <laughs> uh, I actually have a question for you. If, if the lesson today is to be good and make the right choice and be nice to everybody, uh, why aren't you nice to the Kraken kid? He's evil. No, he's not. Uh, I think everybody here will agree. He's the, the reason why this military was formed. Now, with the crack kid's rise to power, some bad things happened in Atlantis. I don't know the history of why everything happened, but he had a hate. Hate for everything that had to do with Atlantis. He wanted to rule it. Now, he and I have had some differences. We fought each other. I thought I killed him. Mm-hmm. But I didn't. I know. He, was that on the news or something? Uh, no, I just... I, I, I searched it up on the interwebs. Right. Well, the reason why I'm not nice to Kraken Kid is he's done wrong by me. He hasn't been nice to me, so why should I be nice to him? So, wait, wait, so what's your overall opinion of him? He's manipulative. <laughs> you said that wrong. <laughs> manipulative. <laughs> he is... Kind of stupid, honestly. Oh, but that stupid is a strong word. You know what? Anyways, I, I some deep, deep down, he has some good in him, I think. But he's just he's he's got some mom issues that needs to work out or something. Anyways, he was never spanked Wait, as a kid. What? Yes? He was never spanked as a kid. He was never spanked as a kid. Yeah, like. He, Oh! Sora! Hit the guards! Hit the decks! There's a tsunami! Safe. We're good. Okay. Just a false alarm. Uh, right, right to you. Uh, what were we doing? Um. Good next question. No, next question. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. Your friend asks you to steal a PS4, but you have been standing in line. This is the release. Or actually, no, we'll, we'll change the question. But a PS5. You've been standing in line for 10 hours trying to be the first person ever to steal a PS5. Or, no, to, to buy a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> well, and he asked you to steal it. He knows a way in. What would you do? Blooper. Um, okay. I would stay in line buy a PS4. Or PS, PS5. PS4. What game would you buy? Um. Battlefield. You, hold on, hold on. You have the choice, you have the choice between... Oh. Call of Duty goes to Mars, or, or, Battlefield World War Two. Um, Battlefield War Two. There might be hope for you yet, kid. All right, uh, we're moving on to the uh, the physical test. So, this is kind of a street smart thing. So, good and right not only means like wrong. Uh, like incorrect, <clears throat> not like an answer. 
Or <coughs> it's, not, it's not only morals and not only ethics, but it is things to do with, like, you know, knowing knowledgeably, like, how to craft this table. I it, have no knowledge. Yeah, you're gonna learn a little bit. So, like, if you said it would take 10 potatoes and a can of Mountain Dew to make this table, you would be obviously wrong. But the right answer would be. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not what, a. What if it was a potato table? But that's not a potato table. I said that table. Get over here, Blooper. You're the demonstrator. So, <laughs> I have a question. What pickaxe would you use to break this obsidian? Um. What? Which? Like, how would like, you know, pickaxe? Which one? Uh, this one. That specific one. Yes. Only that one. Yeah. Well, I would. I what? Would... Which ones can physically break it? Not what you would choose. This. Which? The the, the diamond. So the diamond one's the only one that can break it. Well. Probably this one too. They they all look sophisticated. Did you just try saying sophisticated? Stop! Look at it's breaking it, and then this one's breaking it, and then this one's breaking it. They all break it. I'm confused. You get an A. I I get an A. Sometimes it's all of the above, not A, B, or C. Sit back down. Yeah. Okay, we got uh, the last. Uh, we have two more questions here. So Wait, can I keep the pickaxes? Put them back. Oh. You gotta watch out for him. He likes to steal stuff. Run! Hop to, hop to. Here we go. Everybody okay, in the bar. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. So the next question. So you're up against a zombie horde. They're starting to overrun your base. Wilson, he stepped to one of your own landmines and he started bringing all the noise to your base. The zombies horde it, heard it and there was a herd going by. And they start making their way to your base. They start throwing themselves on top of each other to get over the walls. You guys have spent so long, it's only you and three other people left. You have an array of weapons that you've been collecting. You guys have been on raids for the past month with no casualties, only getting stronger and stronger. So you have an array of different weapons. What weapon would you use against the zombies? I know this one. I'm gonna ask Rainbow Eater. That's not fair. A rocket launcher to get that AOE damage, sir. But then you would destroy your walls even further. I know the answer. I'll give that one a C plus. I, I got it right over here. Okay, blooper. Yes. What is it? It is a spaz. Incorrect. That is but you a just, B but you answer. Just said the, no, but that you just said it at the beginning. The correct of answer is. Uh, flamethrower. No, but be, a flamethrower will be the but you ultimate said, weapon for you taking said down the. At the beginning hurt. of a class, is that the when I showed you grab my spaz, you said it was good for killing zombies. So I thought it's that good would for be killing zombies, but it would probably only hit at least th maximum three to five zombies at one radius, and then it's very inaccurate. So you want to start killing the zombies fast. So what you would do with the flamethrower oh, is you would be but lighting the ground. The flamethrower can also burn down your wall. Your walls are made of concrete, son. Uh, not, not, look at this wall. This is, this is not the base. This is not a part of the question. Now you're digging too deep into the question. It was a simple question where Wilson died in the word zombies to your house. But my answer is correct, right? No, you got a B. You did not get the A. Now, I got an six, A. Minus. Three. A two. Minus. Son, yeah. you made me get pin Principal Plankton. Well, I kind of like that guy, so bring him on down. And Sit down for the last <laughs> time. All right. Come on. Fine. The last. Yes. <sighs> kind of disappointed in you. 
I was I had high hopes, but um If I hit you with this, will you die? Sunny Poo? I didn't <laughs> put those back. Get no flopper. We had combat. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, there! I gotta go. I got. I'm being paged by uh, Principal Plankton. I gotta go. I gotta go in his office. You kids, sit tight. Class. Can I have my my spaz back? You'll get your spaz right when I'm I'm back. Okay. I feel like he won't come back. I have to. I go just have a gut feeling you're not coming back. Why would you're I? Gonna not have to leave. I I don't know. I Goodbye. have to go talk to Principal Plankton. He's getting mad. Goodbye. Good. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Don't. Hey, Plankton. Hmm. Where is he? Sir? You... Oh! There you are, sir. What? So what's going on? Why did you page me? I was in the middle of a... Class arena. We had a pretty good uh, day, I would say so myself. We had a lesson. A few issues, but... Nothing that should call for me being right in your uh, office. Well, Cody, it, it's hard for me to say, but this, uh, you're fired. No, let's not get teary-eyed here, please, because I don't want anything falling inside my potato salad. You know, I don't like tears in my potato salad. I don't know. Nothing. It, you got, you're fired, Cody. I told you not to cry. Uh, Plankton, uh. What do you say? Why am I fired? Uh, it doesn't make too much sense here, man. Um, I was it was it me flying in with the gadfly and breaking stuff? No, it it was Cody. It you know just get out of here, all right? I did. It, you Rasmus has said to, to fire you. You're not being a king anymore. Well, I, I told him I was going to balance everything. Thought I was doing a good job. Whatever. You know what? I hated this job anyways. That new kid is freaking annoying. Honestly, put duct tape over his mouth. And then maybe he'll never stop. Maybe he'll stop talking. Because he just never stops talking. He never stops talking. He is insane. Uh, Whatever. You know what? I'm not working today. I'm done. I'll... Now you later. Also, guess what? Funding is cut for the school. No more donations from the palace. Have fun. Stupid. Kidding me? I actually like this job. <sighs> Last day. Whatever. See you later, sucker. Uh. That was actually kind of fun. But where's that teacher of that guy? I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> why are you crying? What? Why are you crying? Uh, I'm not crying. I'm just having a bit of a popsicle nap. Popsicle nap? The popsicle guy cut. There was onions in the popsicle. And it just... It made me start crying, and then it made me sleepy, so I just sat down and... <laughs> yep. How, how was class? It, it, uh, it ended like five minutes after you were gone. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I just... It's been a rough day, kid. You know, just probably should just get home. Uh, uh, you gotta go home, too. Oh, oh yeah. Um... Do you know who I am? No. You, well, you, you're Blooper, the new kid. Why? No. I'm the Kraken Kid's son. Get in the car! <laughs> I said get in the car! <laughs> you're laughing, alright. I'm gonna head... I'm gonna head to the, the military base. No, you're not. You're getting in the car. Get in the car. This car right here now. Or I'll shoot you. I'm serious about this. Go. Okay, I'm getting in the car. We're going to the. Oh. <laughs> We're going to the conch command. 
Yo, am I being pranked by Professor Piglet? No, this is serious. I'm going to shoot you if you move. Son, do you even have your license? Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I I'm just gonna jump out here, okay? No, you're not. I'll shoot you. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> if you barf in this car, I'll shoot you. 